Hi guys! In today's video I'm going to be trying out the newish Smashbox Be Legendary Triple Tone Lipsticks. These are the ones that have three different colours in them so it's meant to make your lips have like an ombre effect so it makes your lips look really plump hopefully. So I picked up two different shades in this lipstick. I picked up this one here which is the red ombre shade and it's a really bright orangey red. And I picked up this one, which is Berry Ombre, which is a really nice purple colour. So first of all, I'm going to use the Berry Ombre shade. Um, I'm a bit apprehensive because I don't know if I'm going to be able to apply this perfectly the first time. So it might take us a few tries, but let's have a go. So it's not fully opaque when you have the first pass, but that could just because it's new. So let's try again. So it's taken me quite a few passes to get an opaque colour. Um, and in something like this, where it's a three shade sort of thing, I really think you need it to be opaque on the first go because you don't want to really mess about with that colour too much. And then it's quite difficult to do the bottom look because you've got to turn it upside down. <laughs> So there's the purple shade, um, I mean I like the colour it's turned on my lips but I really don't think the ombre really shows up too much with this shade and I feel like the bullet itself is not precise enough to get a crisp line, as you can see here it's quite wobbly, <laughs> so I'd have to go in and clean that up. But I do like the overall look of it, but it's not my favourite lipstick in the world and it's £17 so it's not cheap so I'm going to try the red colour see if that's any different so I've just wiped off that berry shade and now I'm going to try the red shade I've put a bit of concealer on my lips just to create a blank base yeah I like that one better Yeah, I'm really struggling to do that bottom lip, as you can tell. <laughs> okay, so there's that red ombre shade. I like this shade a lot better. It seems to be a lot more opaque. Um, but again, the ombre is really subtle in it. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but I think if you're buying such a product that that is the purpose, you'd expect it to be a little bit more obvious and from the images I've seen online it is more obvious so I don't know if I'm doing something wrong <laughs> um, I do like the colour and I like how it feels on the lips, it's, it's like a matte but a creamy matte um, and I will wear it again but I do find it extremely difficult to put on um, especially on the lower lip line where you've got to turn it upside down and I do feel like it is a little bit of a gimmick. I love Smashbox, I love the brand, I love their primer, I'm wearing it today. I just love the brand in general. But this is a little bit gimmicky. <laughs> so yeah, final thoughts on the product. It's expensive for what it is. It's a good lipstick, but if you're buying it solely for the ombre effect, I'd um, give it a miss. But the lipstick itself is good quality and the colours are nice not fully opaque within one pass but I'll definitely wear it again so I hope you enjoyed this short review on the Smashbox Ombre lipsticks 
And if you did, please give me a like and a subscribe and leave me a comment down below and I'll reply to you and I'll see you in the next one.